Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, uh, Chairman Nkoma. Uh, uh, countrymen and women, uh, this is a meeting called by honorable members of parliament. As you know, uh, members of parliament are all over the country uh, attending committee work, and those that are not uh, 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 in committee, those that are not in committee have been busy in their constituencies, but have been forced, they've been forced to cut short their tour of duty. We have directed members of parliament uh, to retreat and come to Lusaka so that we join hands and demand for the release of our comrade Imano uh, uh, J. Banda. Uh, you all recall, countrymen and women, that uh, during Kuomboka, Minister of Infrastructure Honorable Charles Milupi uh, directed the party cadres to sort out, to use his way, to sort out all those uh, people that were critical of President Hakainde Hichilema. To us, it came as a surprise uh, because Honorable uh, Charles Milupi is a member of parliament. We sit in the same uh, parliament and is a minister, is a cabinet minister. So for him to choose to direct cadres to sort out those that are critical of uh, President Daka and the HLM and the UPND come as a surprise. Because what we expected him to do, if at all there were people that he felt were insulting the president, he should have directed the police to move and uh, you know, uh, bring about law and order. He chose to call upon his cadres. Our call to Honorable Milupi is that he must go back and go live again to call upon his cadres, if at all uh, arising from the directive that he gave, uh, that could have led to the disappearance of uh, Jay Banda. If at all the directive that Charles Milupi gave was in Mongo is what has led to the abduction of uh, Jay, Jay Banda. We demand that Charles Milupi goes live again. He goes on national television like he did to tell his cadres that probably this is not what he meant or that probably they, they caught the wrong person. Him remaining silent will allow or cause those cadres that he was directing to continue holding on to Comrade uh, uh, J. Banda. Uh, Trevor Mwinde. Trevor Mwinde is a deputy youth uh, chairperson for the UPND. He went live on TV and social media and issued various threats, at which point we felt that uh, if this indeed is the, the country uh, of laws and not a country of men. He should have been summoned by the police, like you've seen them do in the recent past, summoning people just making uh, very simple statements, not compared to what Trevor Mwinde was saying. He actually asked that the police must stay, stay away. Our question, therefore, is, is JJ still missing because the police have obeyed the directive from Trevor Mwinde? Are the police staying out from investigation because Trevor Mwinde said the police must stay out of this? So we again challenge Trevor Mwinde and the Secretary General of the UPND to go live and uh, direct their cadres, if at all uh, they are the ones that are holding on to JJ Banda, arising from the directives that they gave. There's a gentleman called Bruce Kanema. Bruce Kanema was. Um, He's a Oh, I'm being asked whether there's a gentleman. There's some um, man called uh, Bruce Kanema from Northwestern Province who equally went live and issued various threats 
he actually went about insulting. When we know very well that in a country of laws, a person who um, uh, issued insults like Bruce Kanema did should have been summoned by the police. Bruce Kanema, we are, we are told, is in Lusaka now. And um, uh, we ask questions. Is it an odd coincidence that Bruce Kanema issues threats? He's not arrested. Bruce Kanema comes to Lusaka and JJ goes missing. We're asking these difficult questions. We ask, we demand that Bruce Kanema goes back uh, live on social media and uh, whatever media he can use to uh, talk to his people and ensure that if at all arising from those threats, uh, you know, JJ Banda was abducted and is being held somewhere. Now, countrymen and women, like I said earlier, it's very, very unfortunate because we have three organs of the state. The three organs of the state are the legislature, the judiciary, and the executive. My chairperson in Coma asked the question, would government have behaved in the, in the same way if a judge was reported missing? Would they have behaved in the manner they behaved this time if a minister had gone missing? What is worrying us is the casual approach, the laissez d'affaire attitude government has adopted towards the disappearance of a member of parliament. We are talking about a member of the National Assembly, a member of parliament. Imano J. Banda goes missing and uh, the president is quiet. This call is on President Daka in the Hichilema. It's for President Daka in the Hichilema himself to come out, address the nation, direct the investigative wings, direct all the security wings to ensure that um, they bring J.J. Banda back to safety. We demand that J.J. Banda be brought back alive. And we're calling upon the president. The president must make this call. We're not talking about an ordinary citizen uh, having gone missing. He is a member of the National Assembly. J.J. Banda is a member of parliament. You can see the concern. The concern from the chiefs. Chiefs are meeting as we speak now. Bishops are meeting as we speak now. Ordinary citizens are meeting as we speak now. Members of parliament are withdrawing, retreating from their tour of duty because a member of parliament is missing. And the president cannot continue to remain silent. The president must come up and direct the police. Hey, president Akainde Ichilema, we are calling upon you because your own party members, your own party cadres want the police to stay away from whatever they were going to do. So the police officers now are immobile. They are unable to do anything because the members of your party directed that the police must stay away. And knowing the rate at which your government has been transferring and firing a public officers, the police are unable to move. We want to call upon the president to release the police. Tell the police to get on the ground and find J.J. Banda and bring him back alive. If the president does not speak, nobody else in the APND government is going to direct the police to go and look for J.J. Banda. Mirupi directed the cadres to sort out people who are critical of President Akainde Ichilema. Therefore, the Inspector General of Police and all the subordinates are now just waiting for another directive and the higher authority is the president. So the president, President Akainde Ichilema, want to call upon you to tell the police to take this matter with the seriousness that it deserves, because it involves a member of parliament. So as members of parliament, we remain very sad that um, a, an elected member of our parliament can be treated in this manner, can be reduced to a mere cadre, where people begin to trail and intercept. As we speak now, you can only imagine what JJ is going through wherever he is. We do not know to what extent he's being tortured. Firstly, by being held against his own will. We don't know what is happening to, to, to his physical health, wherever he is. The mental torture. This is not the Zambia that the Zambians voted for. They had been talking in the past about Kadarism. This one killed so many. That one killed so many. This one abducted people. We did not expect a single abduction under President Lakainde Ichilema's government. Today we have a member of parliament abducted. That's never happened before. 
What has happened to the methodical government of um, uh, the UPND? What has happened? What has escaped your watchful eye? What has happened? Is it a coincidence that just the other day we went to see Jin Chisenga's house, which was burned down to ashes? To date, we haven't heard any comment, not even from the Speaker of the National Assembly. The member of parliament who was affected is a lady, is a woman, a member of that parliament. We have not heard a comment from, coming from the, 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 the leader, the in charge of the National Assembly being the Speaker. Members of parliament from the UPND, I want to speak to you. Honorable Jin Chisenga is a member of parliament that you interact with at committee level. You inter interact with uh, in, in plenary sessions. JJ Banda is a friend of yours. Beyond politics, you interact at committee level. You sit with him in parliament. Why is it that from the time JJ went missing, we have not heard anything from a single member of the UPND? We expected that members of the UPND, who at the same time are friends of JJ Banda, would have come out in support of the search for JJ Banda. How is it that the entire number of the members of parliament from the UPND remain quiet? as they have remained quiet over Jin Chisenga's uh, uh, Asson case. Colleagues and members of parliament, I speak to you here today as a leader of opposition in the House. We can, we can do better. This is just politics. Those members of parliament, as members of parliament, we have created relationships across the floor. Why are we not seeing that spirit of camaraderie manifesting in times of such challenges. Why have you remained quiet? I challenge the members of the UPND, members of parliament of the UPND, to rise and join the rest of the members in condemning the abduction of JJ Banda. We want members of the UPND to rise and condemn the burning of Jin Chisenga's house. President Akainde Ichilema, we wait for you to direct the law enforcement agencies to go out there and bring J. Emmanuel J. Banda alive. I thank you. I will uh, call upon Honorable Mtoto Kafoya uh, to make his comments and the other members who, who continue speaking. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Honorable Brian Mundubile, uh, leader of the opposition in the assembly. I want to start by appealing to whoever is holding our Honorable colleague, Honorable JJ Banda, please bring him back home to his family, bring him back home to his children. Uh, JJ is our friend, is our colleague, and uh, he's our compatriot. Above all of that, he's a husband and a father to Sam. Those need him back home safely. Um, I also want to read some scriptures from the Bible before I could make my submission. Psalm 33:12 says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. Chronicles, Second Chronicles 7 verse 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and heal their land. Finally, Galatians 6, verse 7 to 8 says, God is not mocked, for whatever one sows, that will he also reap. 
Um, I want to say that uh, you cannot mock God. Whatever you sow, whatever you put in the ground, that is what will germinate, and that is what will bear fruit, and from that tree will you be able to eat. My call is simple today. I am calling upon the president of this republic, President Hakainde Ichilema, for a number of reasons. Number one, direct or reverse the call by Honorable Milupi, which he made in Mongo, that Liswaniso should deal with your critics. Because Honorable Milupi is not responsible for stifling your critics. This is a democracy. Your views ought to be criticized. Your policies ought to be criticized. President Hakainde, you are not a private person. You are a public person. You are our person. We, the Zambian people, own you. This is why we complain even when you live in a private house. Because you are not a private uh, citizen of this country. You are our person. You are supposed to take care of our interests. You are supposed to take care of our security. You must ensure our economics is in order. This is why when another person calls for stifling of those that criticize you, I personally find it awkward. So I call upon you, President Takende, to reverse what Honorable Milupi said. Take charge. I also want to call upon you to reverse what your cadres have been saying in terms of threatening Zambians. Because you are not only the head of state, but you are also the head of the UPND. When any member of the state, like Honorable Milupi, makes such a grievous mistake of directing um, a UPND functionary to deal with your critics, it is your duty to make sure that you reverse such a directive. Because it's not only illegal, but also immoral. Honorable Milupi is not even UPND. He is not UPND. But Lusoniso is UPND. How is it that somebody who isn't UPND can direct Lusoniso, who is UPND, and you, the president of UPND, you find it uh, just okay? I call upon you and I appeal to you reverse that. Take charge, presidential powers. Secondly, I call upon President Hakainde Ichilema to use your presidential power, which you drove from us, the Zambian people, to direct Honorable Jack Mwimbo, the Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security, to find JJ expeditiously. I call upon you to use your presidential powers to direct Zambia Air Force to put the helicopters in the air to find Honorable J.J. Banda. Because Honorable J.J. Banda is not an ordinary citizen. This is a member of parliament. A member, somebody occupying a very high ranking position in society, elective for that matter. The nation must be concerned. When there are rumors of Honorable J.J. Banda being held somewhere in, um, in Chikankata, we should have seen movement. When we are hearing Honorable J.J. Banda being held here and there, there should have been movement. I am calling upon you, Your Excellency, use your presidential powers to ensure that J.J. is found and brought back to his family safe. His family needs him. If those in politics don't want J.J., J.J. has a family beyond the political family. Let's see, be able to bring back the human attributes that we once had as a nation. I'm calling upon you, Your Excellency, not to take this matter lightly. But let me also call upon you to direct, to direct the, Minister, the Minister of Home Affairs 
to say something about a house for an MP which was burnt to ashes. After Honorable Milupi tried to restrain those who criticize you, and I know Jin Senga is your critic. Jin Senga criticized your excellency in the assembly. Is that a problem? And I know that JJ also is a critic of your policy. Is that a problem? No, that shouldn't be a problem. The problem is that there is intolerance. People, your, your, some of your people don't want to hear anything outside of what they think is correct. And because of that, we are seeing all this intimidation. We are seeing people claiming they are going to circumcise, them, uh, circumcise an old man. An old man who saved this nation. They will circumcise him. No. No. We are, being, we are now hearing that police should stay away so that UPND cadres can take their law in their own hands. My appeal will end with your excellency. Take charge. Reverse these matters by using the presidential authority which you drove from no other than ourselves. You are our person, not those who are making threats. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.